Evening guys, Phil here at Jaws and Claws. So as we said in one of the previous videos, we're going to try and do a little uh, couple of minute upload of some of the animals that we take out to see you guys. So we'll start with a nice easy one for you today. And this is Norma. We also have Norman, but this is Norma and she is a blue tongue skink. There we go. Now she's approximately about four or five years old. A um, little bit of history on these guys. So it's a reptile, okay? All reptiles have got bones. They're cold blooded, which means they can't thermoregulate, okay? So normally you'll find reptiles for quite warm countries. Now, called a blue tongue skink because there we go, they've got a blue tongue, okay? Now, these are probably one of the most friendliest uh, skinks you can get. Uh, they're also one of the largest, if not the largest, species that you can get. If you're ever going to get a lizard, guys, honestly, these are, are fantastic. They're omnivores, they eat pretty much anything. Anything from strawberries, grapes, uh, a little bit of mango. Bananas are favourite, not too much though, really very diet. Lots of insects or invertebrates, so crickets, locusts, mealworms, waxworms. She loves cockroaches, absolutely just totally nails them. Worms as well. Now, with the worms, a lot of people say, can you use the worms that you find in your garden? I tend not to, uh, just because you don't know what they've got, parasites and things like that. Just buy them straight from the reptile shop or online. Um, yeah, so again, a little bit of sort of baby food, sort of like purified, pureed um, fruit as well. She will get a little bit bigger. Okay, she's a little bit underneath here, so lovely orange. You can see she's really good at it. She's got a couple of uh, toes missing in the end. Okay, that's just where uh, people had her before when they shed their skin, just like any lizard or any animal actually, regular health checks. And if they get a build up of shed skin on the end, it can cauterize their toe and it can fall off. Very, very sharp claws though. Like I say, they're very cool to keep. Um, they're quite deep bedding or deep substrates. They love to bury themselves. Lots of hiding places, sorts of fake plants, things like that. Average temperature anywhere between, between 80 and 90 as an average. Now this is just what works for me guys, okay? Um, people always ask me, what's the best, best substrate, etc., etc. Do you know I It's one of the biggest arguments. If you ever Google it, what's the, bed, what's the best substrate or anything like that, there's a whole bunch of different things. Some people use shredded paper, uh, Aspen, I use Cypress mulch. Um, they don't like it too wet. Now these guys are from North Australia, okay, up in the north. Now there's lots of different species of skinks uh, all over the world. Uh, these guys range from, say, Northern Australia, also New Guinea, around there, and in the islands in between. All right, so they're quite cool. And they're terrestrial as well, so they live on the ground. They don't climb, they're not built for it. As you can see, they've got quite stubby legs. And these are built so she's going underneath logs, things like that, looking for lots of bugs, cool things like that. No teeth really, uh, they've got a very powerful bite, but I've never met a bad one of these. I've got two, I've got a male and a female. Um, I used to keep them together, but she's sort of, the male started scratching up here. So uh, we keep them separate now, and they get on really, really well. Live anywhere between 10, between 10 and 15, maybe a little bit longer years. Uh, obviously live longer in captivity. So yeah, blue tongue skink. Fantastic, really, really cool animals. Oh, blue tongue. The reason why they got blue tongue in Australia, uh, and there's lots of different stories, but the, the one I sort of go with is in Australia, there's a snake called a blue headed deaf adder, which is deadly. The snake with a blue head, basically. Not deaf as in you have to keep shouting at it, um, but deaf as in deadly. And all these guys do is if they feel threatened, they tuck their legs down their side like this. They look like a snake. They stick the blue tongue out, and the blue tongue can get really, really wide and you almost get the width of their their head here and they look like a blue headed death adder. Great at mimicking uh, blue headed death adder. Um, I say blue headed death adder quite a lot. Now these little holes on the side, no, nope, not gills, ears. Okay, pretty cool. They do look like gills though, they little sort of look like feathers in the end there. All right, pretty cool stuff. Right, so that's Norma. We'll catch up with you later on and we'll bring another one out for you. See you later.